So how do you explain models to kids, especially artificial intelligence models to kids, AI models to kids? So when you look at uh, this word models, most of the time kids think about, um, you know, these physical kind of models, right? Building models, plane models, uh, toy models, I guess. All these things come into play when they think about this word models and they're not too far from it. That's a, that's the good news. They're not too far from it. So when you think about the uh, human brain or the uh, way humans think about inputs and outputs, um, is, there is some processing which is happening in the human brain, right? So there's some processing happening. So uh, some of the inputs we take in uh, could be through our sensory organs, like, uh, you know, visual uh, representation of something, right? So through our eyes out here, uh, and the brain processes it, right? And then the brain can create some outputs with that. And uh, you can, uh, in this, uh, you know, if you take some knowledge type uh, input, you could use that knowledge to think more with that knowledge, use that knowledge to relate with your existing knowledge. Or you could do something. You could, you know, you see, uh, let's say you see an apple and you want to eat that apple, right? So take some inputs and takes and does uh, create some output. So that's a, that's a core kind of uh, capability your brain has. And, um, and when you look at inputs, the brain has some kind of uh, representation of that input, uh, and you could call it a model, right? You could call that a model, a representation. You could uh, say, do something. You could, um, you know, uh, it could trigger some emotions in your, in your head, right? So I see, I see, uh, um, you know, the sun rising, and it could uh, create an emotion of happiness within me, an emotion of joy within me. So a model is kind of a representation of something, right? It's a, it's a representation of, uh, um, of what you feel, what you sense, and uh, it, the brain does something almost immediately. Now, if you think about it, how did this model uh, get into your brain in the first place. So some of these models, let's say, what uh, as you were a kid, and if you saw an apple, for example, right? Let me draw an apple out here. Get a green stem. Somebody had to teach you what this apple, that this thing was an actual apple, right? So there's a teaching piece of it, right? So you look at this feature, it is red in color, right? Um, and uh, it had that unique apple shape and you knew that it was an apple after some repetition, after some training, after some teaching from your teacher, your parents, friends, sister, brother, doesn't really matter. So now that, that immediate recognition of this input, this visual input, that it being an apple was, uh, you know, taught to you and you have a, you have a model in your head right now when you think about this apple, correct? So that's that's how this representation works in your brain. Now let's go a little forward and see what happens with machines. So machines also have inputs and they can uh, create some outputs. But with AI, it's a little interesting how this works. So you get the you get the inputs on one side, right? Say, and uh, the technical term for that is, oops, maybe I have a different pen here. Uh, training, training data, or whatever you want to call it, but really training data. You say this is training data. You uh, and you you also tell the machine these are the outputs, right? So 
A simple example would be, let's say, the training data, I give it apples. Not a good apple, let's draw that again. Right? Let's uh, give it a nice shade. And uh, let's give it a stem. Oops, wrong pen again. There you go. And if you give um, this visual representation, let's say these are images, and you tell the machine this image is labeled as an apple, and you continuously train this with many of those apples, or different shapes and size of apple, small apple, big apple, because like a human, uh, it has to be, you know, trained, right? So you train this and say, these are all apples. Doesn't matter if it's big, small, or rotten, or green. Sometimes you get green apples, it's the green color. It's still an apple, right? But you can continuously train this and you say these inputs give these outputs. Eventually what happens with this machine is it creates a, you guessed it right, a model, right? Now based on all what it sees in terms of a visual representation, it can start understanding or coming out with a conclusion that these are apples. So you train you get these outputs, you train with inputs, what we call training data, and you get these outputs. Eventually, it creates a representation of a model. And this model, uh, there are many types of models. I'm not going into all types of models, right? But uh, this is the simplistic explanation of what a model is. Uh, hopefully, that made sense to you folks. Thank you.